So how do you become somebody who executes? I'm talking about a person who turns ideas into reality. A lot of people talk about this, but most people who come up to me, you know what they say? Preston, I'm an idea person. I just need somebody to execute. And I always look at these people and say, there's no such fucking thing as an idea person. Let me tell you why I say this. People have great ideas all the time. My mother came up with a great idea the other day. My cousin came up with a great idea the other day. I come up with great ideas all the time. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you come up with great ideas. You may not feel like they're great ideas because you may be scared to express yourself and tell people about your ideas, but I promise you, you're probably always coming up with great ideas, but for some reason, they just don't get executed. I remember one of my favorite books, he said, genius unexecuted is no more a bushel, of, is no more oak tree than a bushel of acorn is a forest of oaks. I think I said that right. I feel like I fucked that up completely. But basically, acorns turn into oaks, and just because you have acorns doesn't mean you have a fucking oak tree. And the same thing goes down with ideas. If you have a great idea, it doesn't mean anything if you execute it. Look, I'm pretty sure somebody thought about Amazon before it was Amazon, but Jeff Bezos was the person who executed Amazon. So with that being said, how do we become executors? How do we become somebody who takes an idea, takes a dream, takes a vision, and turns it into reality? I remember sleeping on my mother's floor. The biggest thing I thought about was this long-term vision that I wanted to create. And every day, I just executed, 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 and executed. And what I realized in that time frame was that there was one thing that was separating me from everybody who was talking and the people who were actually accomplishing things. See, I got a lot of friends who talked about building businesses, but right now, they haven't built shit. I got some friends who have built businesses too. Don't get me wrong. I got some beasts that are around me that have built some live shit. But here's the thing. The difference between the people who are still at the beginning when they see me right now, talking about I'm about to get my business started. New year, new me, I'm about to do it this year, is because they didn't understand this one thing about execution that I'm about to drop on you right now. So execution, I want you to think about it like this. Here's your idea, and execution is sitting over here. In the middle is something else. Now you can say, man, I don't know what to do, I don't have the knowledge, but I promise you, that's pretty simple to get. Even going to get the knowledge, the thing that's gonna stop you is gonna be the same thing I'm talking about. So let's walk through this. Let's say you don't know what to do. Let's say you wanna start a business, you don't know what to do. Well, if you're watching a video like this, you're already on the right track. There's so much information. I have courses, people have courses. You don't even have to learn the knowledge from me. Just go get it from somewhere. So you know you need to do that. Maybe you have to spend some money. Maybe you have to spend some time. Maybe you have to read some books. Whatever you have to do, what's gonna stop you? Procrastination, which is your emotion. I want you to really think about what you say in your head. If I say, go read a book, and you say, I don't feel like doing that, that is your emotions. If you are scared to do something, go take some action you don't feel like doing. If you're scared to spend some money because you get this pain in your chest when you actually let go of money or invest in yourself, that is once again your emotion. There's this great book that you should read, and if you don't read, fuck it, it doesn't matter, because this whole thing I'm about to give you is the gist of it. In Daniel Goldman's book, Emotional Intelligence, he said, EQ, Emotional intelligence is a higher indicator of success than IQ. Why don't you let that sit in for a second? People's emotional intelligence is a higher indication of success than their actual IQ, or what you call general intelligence, the intelligence you're probably used to, like mathematical, logical, and stuff like that. Now, why is this important? If I had to sum up emotional intelligence, it's the ability to control and manage your own emotions. This is something I learned very young when it comes to like, when I used to fail a lot, I used to have these little talks with myself where I kind of hyped myself back up. Or when I, when I have to do something scary, I can get myself to do it. I can get myself to do it. But understanding that if you're not able to control and manage your emotions, you're never going to be an executor. Because what's gonna happen is whenever you feel a little bit of fear, whenever you feel things are getting a little tense or you have to deal with some uncertainty, you're gonna fold. You're gonna fold because your emotions are in control. You're not in control. So let me ask you a question. Who's in control? Who's steering the ship? Are you steering the ship or are your emotions steering the ship? I want you to look back at the last time you had an idea, the one you didn't execute on. Let's say you want to start a business. Say you need to make a call. Say you need to buy a product, a service, and you didn't do it. Who was in control? Your emotions. Because think about it. It's a part of your brain that says, I need to do this shit. Let's say you want to live a life of freedom. That's what we all about here. Creating a future where you're in control not working for another person. Let's say you want to be that person and you know you need to get some information and knowledge, just, just step one. Before we even talk about building the business, actually executing the business, you know you need to go get some knowledge. You know you need to read a fucking book. You know you need to take somebody's course. You know you need to go get a mentor. Whatever route you want to go, you know you need to do that. What has stopped you? Why are you procrastinating? 
You scared to go up and talk to that person because you might get rejected. You scared to make the phone call because you got to invest a little bit of money. You scared to get up there because you don't feel like reading a book. There's many avenues to it, but the same thing that stops everybody is their fucking emotions. But let's say you do got the knowledge. This is the thing that comes in a lot with people too. They know what to do. I've got this theory that a lot of times we know what to do. If you don't have the knowledge, what do you do? Go educate yourself. We know to do that. Now, let's say you do have the knowledge. You may know what to do, but for some reason you don't execute. I want to give you this analogy. In basketball, right? You're playing basketball. You start the beginning of the game. Let's say you're playing in the league. You go up for a layup, you get fouled. You take two free throws at the beginning of the game. It doesn't really matter that much. You probably knock those two free throws down. You drain them. It's nothing. So the game goes on. It's a tight game. The crowd's going crazy. You're dribbling down the court. People are sweating. People are bumping into each other. And the game comes down to the last two free throws. And now you have to take the shot again. These are when the game on the line. And I guarantee you it's going to be a little bit harder to make these shots. Now, you might be ice cold, you might have ice water in your veins, but for most people, it would be a lot more difficult. I remember back in the day, um, back in the hood, when we used to go to the Boys and Girls Club. I used to love hitting game winning shots. I remember my cousin was playing on the opposite team, and I came down, they were dribbling. It was like five seconds left on the clock. They threw the ball down the court. I jumped up and grabbed it out the air, came down, there was a person right in front of me. I dribbled two crossovers, shot it from half court, <laughs> flushed it one by one, three point. One of the greatest feelings in the world. But I realized something. Those free throws, there's no difference between the distance of the goal or anything at the beginning of the game or the end of the game. The only thing that has changed is how you feel about it. I want you to think about that. The only thing that's changed is how you feel about it. So it's harder to execute the shot, something you do all the time, something you might have done in your, in your driveway all the time, something you might have done at the park all the time. It becomes more difficult to execute because how you feel about it. But what makes Kobe great? What makes Jordan great? What makes all the great players great is because they were able to control their emotions in those moments. That's why they said they got ice water in their veins. They were able to control their emotions in the big moments and make shit happen. So I have this theory that we know what to do. You know what the fuck to do. You watching a video like this, you know what the fuck to do. You know you should be out there executing, but you don't do it. So one, we established that, one, you gotta get the information. If you don't know the information and that's what's stopping you from executing, and that's it, well then the information's out there, right? You can learn from me, you can hop on a call with me, or you can go somewhere else and learn the information. The whole point of this video is not to get you to specifically do anything with me. The point of this video is to get you to understand that if you don't have the information, then go get the information, if that's what's stopping you from executing. But that's not most people, because even getting that information, like I said, their emotions will get in the way and they'll procrastinate. The second aspect of it is, if you don't know what to do, I mean, if you do know what to do, then you're not doing it, you have to get your emotions in check. And how do we do that? There's this great term I heard a long time ago. They call it progressive desensitization. And every time I say that, I feel like I'm gonna fuck that word up, but it's called progressive desensitization. And what this basically means is, it's like when you get in the water, in the pool, and instead of just diving in, I recommend just diving in. But if you have problems just diving in and terrorizing yourself, you can start by doing a small goal, a, a bigger goal, and a bigger goal. Let me give you a prime example. Let's say you're a shy, introverted person and you don't like going to talk to people, but you know for your business, you gotta go talk to people. I would do something what I, what I used to do. First, I would just start walking up and talking to people and just speaking, hey, how's it going? And then maybe with the clerk or some at the store, I would start a little conversation because it's not that I was, like when I knew people, I would open up, but it was like just talking to people by myself for the first time or just opening up new conversations or meeting new people, that was difficult for me. So I had to work that out to the point where it became comfortable for me to talk to people. If you actually go get my boy's course, Country Cowboy Influencer, one of the challenges I'm on there and I'm literally going to talk to people like randomly on the street because we're talking about a way to become an influencer. You just have to go check it out. But the whole point is I actually do this live in a video, go up and talk to random people. And it's not about they reject me or not, but the point is I'm trying to get used to talking to people. I'm trying to get used to when I feel that fear of going to approach somebody, my emotions don't get the best of me. You see what I'm saying here? Now, if I need to go talk to people and then my emotions are in check, even though I might feel fear and I've got it in check, I'll go still talk to the person, which means the idea is to go talk to the person. My emotions are in check, I execute. This is no different than on a larger scale when we talk about your business. When I started a business, imagine sleeping on your mother's floor. 
Not only do you feel like a failure because I was a smart kid and I wasn't able to make money or be successful, I was a, I was a grown man on my mother's floor. So there was nothing giving me confidence saying I could do it, but even at the same time, I knew what I needed to do. I, needed, I knew I needed to take massive fucking action. And once I started doing that, slowly but surely things started to change. Slowly but surely I started to make more money. Slowly but surely I started to get out of my mother's house. Slowly but surely I started to build something up. I started to be more successful. So if you wanna be more successful, your emotions gotta be in check. Now, let's talk about the master class if you're talking about really accelerating your execution skills. I call it terrorizing myself. So when I first got on YouTube, I talked about this in another rant. When I first got on YouTube, when I first got on here, I was scared to get on YouTube. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was scared. And I remember telling myself a week before I got on YouTube, I said, man, you gotta get on YouTube. You gotta get on YouTube. So I said, fuck it, next week I'm on YouTube. I just did it. I didn't give a fuck if the quality was good or anything because it was more about learning to execute. See, now I, I, I concern myself with trying to make it as high as quality as possible because making the video is nothing to me. Executing on a business is nothing to me. Now I'm trying to get better in my execution. I'm not a new year, new me person because I feel like as soon as I say something, I'm fucking executing. But one of my things I wanted to do going into the next year is basically execute faster. I'd have an idea and instead of executing it in a month, it would take me two months. You get what I'm saying? That procrastination will fly. And then I know, I know it's my emotions getting the best of me. So I'm just giving you these examples to show you that the real thing that stops you from becoming an executor is your emotions. Your emotions are in between you and everything you want. Learn to control your emotions and you can have anything you want. So the first part of it is if you don't have the knowledge, for example, you can just go get that shit. That's not simple. And if you're a procrastinator, you don't feel like going to talk to somebody, well, you need to get, get over that shit and just do it. If you need a mentor, if you learn like that, you learn from mentors, that's one thing. If you learn from actually doing, well, you're going to have to be a fucking action taker. Go take massive action. And that's the best way to learn. I read a bunch of books and I still believe taking massive action is like the pinnacle. Because what I would do, I would read books and I would go execute on the information immediately. So if I read a marketing book, I would go try to market some shit immediately. That's the difference between me and a lot of people. I know a lot of influencers just shit talk about, fuck books, don't read books, fuck that. That speeded me along years. But then a lot of people read books and once again, their emotions get in the way because now you know everything that can go wrong. It actually becomes harder to execute. So I want you to think about that shit. Think about that shit. And I want to say this last thing. And this was one of my favorite passages I ever read. It's from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I'm going to paraphrase it here because I don't have it in front of me. But basically what he said is that we'll go on along in life and we'll see all these great people, all these great people, and we'll have to shamelessly watch as our words are uttered from another man's lips. And basically what he's saying here is this. Let's say you're looking at me right now and you say, man, I can talk better than this guy. I can create better content than him. I can speak better. I can build a better business. If I was doing this shit, I could do it better. The shit he's saying ain't that deep, it ain't that profound. If you feel like that right now, and you're watching this video, I want you to, I want you to think about something. Why am I on this video and you're not? The only difference is because I'm an executor. You can become the same thing. You can become greater than what I'm doing. It's that simple. But the thing that's gonna stop you is not being an executor. My job is to help you create a future where you're in control. My job is to show you that it don't matter how you look, it don't matter where you come from, your background, that you could do this shit, that you could execute. Fuck what everybody else is talking about. Fuck being an idea person. I don't give a fuck about ideas. I give a fuck about the execution because the execution creates tangible things on this earth. Start executing. Become the person who creates some shit in this world. Like and subscribe on the video. Keep taking action. Massive action.